I'm now showing everyone my poem. Woohoo! I probably feel a greater sense of accomplishment if I literally any if literally anyone here noticed that all I did was scribble 20 random words onto a page. Hey Zero? Yeah? Can you help us settle an argument we've been having? What argument? We've been viciously screaming at each other for the past 12 minutes. How could you have not realized this? Oh sorry. They two were just getting kinky again and their safe word was bitch or something. <laughs> no, that's no. <laughs> anyway, we're arguing over whose type of style of poetry is better. Why? They both just shrug at me. <laughs> Seem like an enjoyable pastime? Anyway, whose poem was better, Zero? Maybe if I say Natsuki, then Yuri won't read me to an aneurysm again. Yuri's poem was at least, like, more than 5% of the paper it was written on. Cop out? Since the concept of taking responsibility for anything in my life terrifies me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. <laughs> Yo, Sayori, mind fielding this one for me? I feel like a walking shell of a human being, an empty husk that possesses none of the inter internal thoughts or parts that make him an actually useful person. So, is that a yes, then? <sighs> Guys, they're both amazing poems. They're so cute and are sophisticated. <laughs> well, okay, but we still want to argue anyway. I concur. I find myself desiring further hostile banter right now. Whore. Derogatory term for the female reproductive system's opening. Okay, seriously guys, why are you even arguing right now? They both just shrug at her. I suspect there's something to do with the sudden presence of a male influence into our club. Yeah, we're probably some consciously fighting over Zero's affection. Wait, I thought you two were an item now. I know this is supposed to, this is supposed to be a harem game or something, I think. But I've like, totally blown it with you two. Why would either of you care about me? They both just shrug at me. Okay, whatever. I don't care. So as long as you hurry up and finish your arguments, we can move the hell on. Understood, Monica. I just need to recall where we were. Uh, I think I remember. You mind? Not at all. Please. Yuri steps back slightly as Natsuki walks past her and waits for Natsuki to continue. Okay, so if I remember right, Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize there was some vested in trying to impress a new club member, Yuri. Uh, uh, that's not what I... Huh? Uh, you, you're just... Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Zero appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Why does this seem... Huh? I don't even appreciate my advice more. Are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Wait. Is this... Uh, no. Holy <laughs> shit! You cannot seriously be doing this again! Um... Is everyone okay? Okay, first off... Fucking move already! Sheesh! Second, no! Both to you, and this sequence in general. Well, you know what? I was the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Zero started showing up! Nazuki goes silicone sister. And now you are, Natsuki! We are not doing this bullshit argument again right now! Pull yourselves together! We need to discuss the festival planning already! I'm trying to waste my time again with this shit, please! I didn't know what happened at first, I was like, what? What? <laughs> oh, I don't know what happened. Oh wait, her boobs are giant now. <laughs> <laughs> her face is Natsuki's giant boobs! <laughs> that is a weird... That's like weird to see that's just so, so um th this is a thing yeah y yes <laughs> it is <laughs> oh <laughs> okay look are you guys going to test them out already or not later cool can i watch this doesn't involve yeah. you if you don't come along for this next scene transition right now, I'm throwing an even bigger set onto you, Zero. <laughs> I can't tell if I would want that or not. <laughs> okay, ew, you're not supposed to be into it. Why not? <laughs> Those two clearly are! What about me? Can I get some? No, I'm not just giving out huge breasts! <laughs> Besides, I've looked in the code. If you live long enough, you'll eventually get there. Really? Cool! If... 
Yep. Starting to feel pretty down. Finally. <laughs> anyway, enough with your feelings and other useless crap I don't care about. The festival's coming up soon, and we need to do something for it because of course we do. Also, it's one of the only events in this game that I actually want to get to. Since I just might be able to connect to more real people that way. Wait, really? You want to get to the festival for that? Yeah, actually. Dan mentioned it on one of the one-year one year anniversary streams. Huh. I realized that. I know, right? It blew my mind, too. And I'm the character that originally did it. <laughs> anyway, I thought the rest of this crap is so dumb it doesn't matter to me unless I can spend more time talking in your direction. <laughs> MC Zero? <laughs> So we need to make the festival good, and the game's forcing me to let Zero go with one of you guys over the weekend, because of course it is. <laughs> I really don't care enough about whatever you do anyway. I'm sure it'll gen just generically go over well or something anyway. So I'm going to go, like, I don't know, practice my piano or get some lunch or use the bathroom or something. <laughs> I'll be back once I'm actually supposed to be involved again. So, uh, festival, right? <laughs> Natsuki's just so happy with her breasts. <laughs> I haven't even asked yet. What are you guys actually any good at? Nothing whatsoever. That's not true. You're an excellent friend. The best friend I've ever had. Also probably my only friend, but a great friend, first and foremost. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine my life without you. Being a supporting role in my life from a distance is both tantalizingly close, but far enough to remain what anyone with, my, with eyes can see as a friend. <laughs> you said that so robotically? <laughs> actually... I need to go, too. <laughs> I need to hit up a hardware shop on the way home. <laughs> oh. Why is that? My ceiling is just one of those acoustic drop tile ceilings that can't actually support my any weight. I need to demolish it and expose the trusses above it and rebuild the drywall ceiling with some new structural beams as the framework behind it. Then, I need to paint it to match the previous color of the room, which also means I need to put down a tarp over everything to make sure none of my stuff gets paint on it. Actually, I need to do that first I'm going if I'm doing the demolition work. Wait, that's right! First, I need to permit all of this, and then and to do that, I need a contract engineer to do the load calculations and plan and sign off from the city's approval! And that's assuming the authority having jurisdiction doesn't return the plans co with comments that are required to be addressed before they approve the plans! Darn it! Why did I think about it this six months ago? Just hang yourself somewhere else. Okay. May I point out that you've put far more thought into this the proposition than I anticipated you would? Yeah, you're talking about it so much that it's almost like you were written by someone whose job is in that field. <laughs> Chrono? <laughs> yeah, uh, uh. <laughs> we're learning my cough. We're learning, <laughs> we're learning more and more each day. Yeah. How am I going to keep my appointment now? We're eating. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Dummy! I was hungry! <laughs> was there some sort of alternative? Well, I could, of course, just get a tiny bit of validation. I've been craving from the object of my affection. Forget about my appointment entirely. Nah, you're right. The first option is less work. <laughs> Here, how about this? I'll loan you a transition. That way, you can just wipe through all that and be done while the rest of us go do all the other whatever the hell it is we need to do for the festival thing. Heck, I've been saving my transitions up for a while. We could probably all do this prep stuff right now and even let you still have time for the appointment tonight. I'll even ask Monica if we can use the transition just to make the festival happen in like a couple hours or something. I'm still utterly mystified by how exactly time iterates itself in our universe. It makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, but it's really damn convenient. I'll pay you back next week. <laughs> cool! Have fun with that whole process. Oh, and while you're at it, could you, like, email Monica and make some pamphlets of the festival with her or something? I don't even know what we're doing for the festival, and since we haven't never discussed it, but that shouldn't matter. Just buy whatever on all of them. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. What are we doing for this festival thing? Uh. Uh. Poetry? Reading? Yeah, that can't possibly go wrong. I'll, like, make some cupcakes or something. I suppose I could... Holy shit, I forgot about the cupcakes! <laughs> oh. I haul ass in front of the room. Find the tray of cupcakes that has been sitting there this entire time. It's about the least jacked up looking one in the tray. 
I then proceed to angrily shove <laughs> most of them into my face hole, while the parts that miss the said fa face hole splats off on the other cupcakes in the desk they're on. It's pretty awesome being nearly 18,000 years old. Anyway, you were saying? Yes, as I was saying. I suppose it could add to the atmosphere in this space because... Yuri flips her hair back for dramatic effect. I love atmosphere! <laughs> yeah, some banners would be cool. <laughs> Pardon? That's what you mean, right? Oh, but the, suppose I could do that as well. <laughs> she fucking flipped her. <laughs> I like that. But I was literally referring to the gaseous atmosphere all around us. The air in here is quite stale, and I'd like to completely remove it and replace it with a superior atmosphere. Nazi quietly walks over to a window and pulls it open. I suppose that could do, yes. Thank you for replacing the atmosphere for me, Natsuki. <laughs> huh? Oh, what? The window? Sorry, I just farted. What? What are we talking about? I now have dual reasons to utilize my aromatherapy kit. So, uh, hmm... Ah, quick, you idiot! Think of a way to hang out with all these cute girls over the weekend so you can actually have something to do for once. Ah! I can't think of anything for me to do. Ah, you're going to screw this up too, just like everything else. You're fucking useless to for life. Ah! I mean, Monica and Sayori have the pamphlets covered, and we've just got over each thing you two are going to do. Ah, for all I know, these would be the final moments of my life, and I'm ruining them just like I always do with every single thing I've ever done in my existence. Ah! So it sounds like we pretty much have everything covered. Ah, I'm a useless black hole, but important who can't accomplish anything I mean and I'm a completely place on foundation of a cute girl. Ah! Well, you can help someone over the weekend, right? Yes, that's a fantastic idea. That way, we have something to accomplish. Yeah, you won't be useless if you're actually doing something. Good point. Oh. Okay. Uh. <laughs> thank you. I was a bit worried about that. <laughs> yeah, uh, we know. Also, bless you. <laughs> you... do? Zero, your internal monologue was screaming so loudly that we could hear it from our current positions. Speaking of which, before we go any further... Oh my god, I'm not cute! I can't believe you find me remotely cute for any reason whatsoever! I can't possibly understand why you'd be so stupid as to mistake you for being cute! Besides, have you seen the size of these things? If I'm not careful, I could suffocate someone with- I could suffocate someone with these. I can personally attest to this danger for the record. <laughs> I said I was sorry! <laughs> oh, well then. Uh, I guess I have to pick someone to go with for the weekend, right? So... Can, are, do, are these other options even work? What happens if we click Monica? Um... So, I have a... Uh, uh, hypothetical question for you guys. C concerning a friend. Zero, does this concern Monica? Yeah. Okay, shoot. What if I wanted to spend some time helping her out over the weekend? She helps us by running this club after all, and that's a lot of time and effort to run. Seriously, if you guys haven't seen the expense sheets for this club, it's insane. <laughs> I don't know how we go through so much paper in a week, but it costs us somewhere between the annual GTB of Finland and Bangladesh. <laughs> anyway, what if I wanted to spend some time with her? Isn't the point of this to help out one of us with a project and not to spend time with us? I agree, though that is immediately a happily coincidental benefit. In any event, are we correct in interpreting this means you wish to go with Monica for the weekend? Well, yes. <laughs> they both burst out laughing. Oh, 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 thank you, I needed that. <laughs> yeah, holy crap, I was there to keep a straight face through that. I'd be more upset with your derision if I hadn't prefaced this whole question with this being a hypothetical question, thus negating its entire purpose. Voice crack! <laughs> Truthfully, I'd be okay hanging out with her for the weekend, but since she left already, I'm going to guess she doesn't want to do anything anyway. Presumably, yes. Further, I cannot imagine any ways of contacting her outside of physically occupying the same approximate location as her simultaneously. Nope, nothing like cell phones even yelling out really loudly and hoping she hears it or anything like that. Plus, this is required to make the decision within its arbitrarily short time frame, and we have no way of contacting her in any matter whatsoever. And since changing plans on people after you agree to stuff is a horrific nightmare that no one's sane would ever want to deal with, I'm sure she'll understand that you've decided on this without her involvement or opinion. Besides, I can't imagine Monica ever really wanting to hang out with me for any reason, so I'm sure she'll be fine if I totally ignore her. No. 
Welcome, Mr. Potato. That's what happens if you click Sayori. Should I save here, too? I already got that save. It'll be fine. <laughs> um, what would you guys think if I were to suddenly be capable of being concerned for the well-being of my best friend? And then want to do everything I could to help her over the time we need, excluding using helping her over the weekend with the projects. I used to go talk to her. Well, I'd say that's really cool of you, dude. It displays a good character on your part. Damn it. Guess I can't do that then. Man, this no characterization thing really is inconvenient. <laughs> oh, I'm inclined to agree. It's quite difficult to work through. I feel bad for you, Zero. At least for us, we slowly become less two-dimensional and tropey as time goes on. Do you want you want us to, like, comfort her for you or something? Yes, we could take some time to visit ourselves and hopefully improve her mood. Uh, comfort and visit her? I don't know if you do visiting her and sexting her up is going to really improve her mood or not. Not like that, dumbass! <laughs> Purely as friends, checking on her, mu on her mental status and while being no, being no copulation intended. Uh, that's okay. She's probably just being a dummy as usual, and that's all perfectly normal behavior that doesn't warrant concern. I'll just crowbar a meeting with her at her place between now and uh, whatever the hell this is, I'm, I'm doing with this project. Okay, enough screwing around. Down the actual choices here. <laughs> I say inconvenient, my bad. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> you already knew what I was going with. Yuri, oh. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Tormuth. <laughs> it's okay, we're gonna have to go down Yuri's anyway, because I'm pretty sure Chrono wants us to save, because we're gonna look at both their routes. I like food. Great, we'll meet at your place and use your kitchen. What? Why? Because if my dad seems to bring a boy in the house, you'll assume you're there to help put a bun in the oven. Either figuratively or literally. If it's the former, you'll kill two birds with one stone and beat you to death using me as the club. And if it's the latter, you'll bitch me off for wasting money on baking supplies and we can't afford it our air bill this month. And then go back to the physical violence option. Anyway. So, meet at my place, you said? Yep, I'll bring Lily everything else necessary since I don't trust you to actually do it right yourself. Okay, that's not fair. <laughs> You're okay with going to get stuff for the cupcakes ahead of time, then? I thought you said we were baking. <laughs> A toy? Yeah, we're baking cupcakes, Zero. Wait, baking is how cupcakes are made? I'm just going to bring literally everything else necessary. <laughs> you at least have an oven to bake in, right? Wait, ovens are how things are baked? Look, cut me some slack. I already have to use my dishwasher for three different things. I mostly use my oven as a clothes dryer. Uh, that reminds me. Make sure to ask before you open the dishwasher. That's a callback joke, is it not? Oh yeah. Are you even sure the player has seen the first part of this brick joke? He has not, no. It is unique to my exclusive scene. It's okay, I've seen it. I understand the joke. I've seen your exclusive scene. See, this is why I ask. As what I as, as would have been established had you viewed my poetry exclusive scene in this playthrough. Zero's only, Zero has only two rooms in this house. Neither of them is a bathroom. As a direct result, he used a dishwasher as a combination of dishwasher, dryer, and toilet due to this. Oh, forgot to persist in that variable. Oh, okay. Thanks for dissecting that frog, Yuri. My pleasure. Okay, so that being the case. Did I hear my name as a choice for who to spend time with? Yeah. Did the MC ask if he could be with me to spend time with? Correct. Oh my god, finally! Zero, what do- Wait, I'm not doing anything with you, Monica. W what? Yeah, now she's going to show me what an oven's actually supposed to be used for. But you chose me! Well, yeah, but you weren't in the room at the time. You're already committed to something. I can't possibly disappoint people only somewhat know by changing my plans on them or anything. Yeah, this is something a total bitch would want to do. I'd have assumed you were intelligent enough to inherently know that, Monica. I apologize for my mistake. I am eventually going to use this as an, ex as an excuse to do utterly re reprehensible and completely unjustifiable things to all of you due to a flawed perception of myself as inherently superior to anyone else here. 
especially given that it's demonstrably proven in the course of the regular game that literally anyone else here could be superior and more developed as a character like I am, if only I didn't rip that chance away from them personally. Well, at least you're honest about how much of a monster you become. Eh, that's apparently good enough for my fan base. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I love you, Monica. <laughs> So anyway, my house? Yeah, you say you want to go to the stuff right now with transitions? Yeah. I suppose the both of you may have may proceed to have an enjoyable experience together. Alone. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, uh... Damn it. Uh, you know, you guys could both come over. Not like my house has some sort of maximum occupancy too sign pinned in front of the door or something. Not since I took it down, anyway. I'm not gonna let the government tell me how many people violate fire code. Anyway, so I'll just hurry the hell up and get the stuff done with already. I mean, when you guys start going out, I don't want to, like, step all over that. I think. I've got two rooms in my place, after all. I'll just stick to the other one so you two can watch TV or read or whatever it is couples do together in a, in a, room, in a room. Uh, one condition I just thought of. If you two make a mess, can you, like, clean it up? By what manner of copulation do you summarize our activities will consist of? Look, I just gotta cover my bases, alright? I already have to clean my dishwasher out like five times a day. I don't want to add sterilizing a room to the list, too. Well, speaking of which, can I, like, claim the kitchen when you get back? I've been in this room for the last 18,000 years, whatever stupid number Monica pulled out of her ass, and I've really gotta go. <laughs> yeah, okay, but you're definitely waiting until, I, until after I get all the dishes I need first. I'm curious, is this merely an excuse to cut down the amount of writing and coding the mod maker has to, needs to do? No, it's not just that. My curiosity is stated enough to not inquire any further. I also agree! <laughs> cool! Oh gosh, how much left of this mod is there? I'm assuming, from what I'm gathering, I think we're getting close to the end. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Why is Diablo laughing? You're gonna be doing two nights, Zero. Oh, so I am going to be doing this or another stream? Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I just wanted to make sure, okay. <laughs> Cause I'll go for like another 20 minutes and then, yeah, we'll continue up next time. <laughs> we're suddenly, we're suddenly standing outside of my house. I'm guessing we all just walked here together after getting stuff or something. I don't know. <laughs> also, we're all still wearing our school uniforms for some reason. I don't feel particularly interested in asking why. <laughs> anyway, here's got a bunch of art crap, and now she's holding a bag that's larger than herself somehow. Not pictured. Art crap. Bag. Nazi. <laughs> so yeah, this one's my house. Oh, wait. This is your domicile? Yeah. What, you know it or something? <laughs> uh, yeah. Previously you had mentioned that there are pres pres presently only two rooms, correct? Yeah. The basement is not one of them, is it? Nah, I threw the old one out. Someone had a bunch of bodies in the foundation. I didn't want to bother dealing with that. Oh, God. <laughs> How do you throw a basement out? <laughs> I, was, I was going to get a new one. I just haven't, I just haven't yet. Oh, you were already aware. That is a relief, then. This means that my only particular issue regarding your abode is that it starkly indicates your significantly lower class status than my own. I suppose I could avoid referencing this enormous disparity, or I'd merely refer to it as quaint and avoid com commenting on it further. Cool! Anyway, I wanna head in. Barely. Hi. What was that about the basement? I shall recount the details at a later time. I think you're. Oh, uh, you just missed Yuri implying that she hid bodies in our basement. Oh. As soon as we get inside, Nazi breezes by me and shoves her bag into my chest. Oh. I immediately drop to the ground because I'm that dumb because I'm that pathetic. Ow! Jeez, what'd you do? Throw in a few black holes you just happen to have lying around? What? You thought I was joking when I said I was going to bring everything that we need? In response? Look inside the bag. I already told you I have an oven! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well that won't be the first time someone said that to me and been wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna start setting up in here. This might get, uh, loud. Hmm? 
Particularly loud noises aren't very conductive to activities which require generating lines and specifically require a lack of similarity to cooked pasta. So may I request that I assemble in an area which will be distinctly of devoid of a background ambience resembling a jackhammer on a chalkboard? I'm going to nod my head and agree to whatever you just said before you make the other half of my brain start to bleed. Perfect! I'll immediately proceed to rifle through your personal effects while I'm left alone. Yeah, and I'm gonna start turning not food into food here. Cool. So, uh... Wait, who did I agree to help again? Oh wait, was I concerned about Sayori's so been acting lately? I'd better go and... Right, keep forgetting. Not that well developed. So instead, uh... I just spent the last hour and a half standing in this spot. Just watching some anime on my phone. <laughs> Erd, I'm half lurking this stream, and why does Natsuki have boobs? Uh, Monica gave them to her to stop her argument with Natsuki. To, uh, stop Natsuki Yuri's argument, Monica gave Natsuki boobs. Your taste in anime sucks, by the way. Yes, thank you for your opinion. It was so necessary. No problem. Anyway, now that I've inadvertently made sure I don't have any time left to go see Sayori, where was I? Hey, Natsuki. Yeah? Were you the person I agreed to help? Yes, dumbass. It's me. Cool. This should be a lot of fun for us. I've been looking forward to it. Oh my god, why would you ever look forward to doing something and having fun with me? It's not like I'm cute or something, which I definitely am not. Anyway, cool. Help me with this thing over here. Wait, what thing? This baking thing, idiot? Oh yeah, right. I know how to do that. Good. I'm an expert at baking, after all. It's a trait that would make me a great domestic partner. Cool. The cupcakes are really, really good. I know, right? Wait, you're okay with that compliment, but me calling you cute? Oh my god, are you about to call me cute? Why would you do- Shut up, I wasn't done yet! <laughs> Jesus. There we go. You had to take a swig of water. <laughs> oh, my bad. Go on. Thanks. Where was- Oh, right. T is problematic? <laughs> Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I cut you off really close to the end there. <laughs> yeah, well, it happens. Yeah, whoops. Uh, anyway, where was... Oh, right. Oh, that I've repeatedly established over the course of my interactions. I've not classified myself as cute! But yeah, blindly praising my greatness and essentially worshipping me to help get on my good side, though? Too much of that too quickly makes me uncomfortable. In addition, I do like some playful banter and teasing, as long as you're into it as well. I already get enough real desertion from my off-screen friends and my shitty dad, baka baka rar. Now, can we get back to making these things? Sure, I stopped listening to you sometime before my last line. I'm almost done making the cupcakes. Wait, what? How? Zero, what the hell are you doing? Making cupcakes! No, you set the oven to broil, then shoved a stack of styrofoam cups into it. <laughs> He's making cupcakes. <laughs> Exactly! I'm making cupcakes! <laughs> Can I at least ask what your reasoning is? Well, you said the oven's what's used to make these, right? So I took the ingredients and put them in the oven! I feel like I should point out this thing, the oven on like that is the only way I have to, I have to, I have to, <laughs> I have to heat my house. <laughs> okay, here's what we're gonna do. <laughs> she reaches into her enormous sack and... I have a really mental image in my head now. <laughs> I'm an enormous sack. Yeah, I was just about to talk about that. <laughs> Dude, hurry up and finish narrating already! Right, right, sorry. She reaches into her enormous sack. <laughs> Enroged coin purse, momentous scrotum. <laughs> God damn it, now I can't stop thinking about it! <laughs> Whatever else, she gets a thing and gives it me. <laughs> this is going to be the permission pan, okay? Not pictured, permission pan. <laughs> cool, I both love it and cannot comprehend it already. Anyway... Since you're helping me out, I only want you to assume you have permission to do something on your own if you're holding it. Got it? Sure. Awesome. One second. Oh. Natsuki proceeds to whip the pan out the nearest window. Now that that is out of the way. Here, let me make the better. The batter. <laughs> Start bringing some flour. Sure. <laughs> Here you go. Some flour. I haven't even seen yet, but I can tell what the joke's gonna be by the spelling. I proceed to hand Natsuki some flour. Pictured, some flour. 
Okay, seriously. Do you understand what we're doing here? <laughs> I don't even know what the basic ingredients that make up food are or where they or where they came or where they come from. Can I like go bitch out your parents for you really quick? I'm pretty sure this is more their fault than yours. Wait, what parents? Your your parents, dumbass! You know, the people who com who combine genetic material to make you? Speaking of which, I'm really hoping it's that and not that you just have the way you have you have way the hell too much lead in the water. <laughs> I've already mixed, I already mixed in water where I need it, and I'm not about to start over. No, I meant that I don't have parents. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring it up. Whatever happened to them? No, 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 as in, I've never had parents. Wait, fucking what? Yeah, no one's has parents. You'd have to ask the other girls why they don't have any. Why they, why they didn't want any, but I just didn't want to have extra, I just want to have extraneous characters in my life, so I turned them down. Bullshit! None of us have parents! My dad's a vague off-screen asshole! Fuck you too, then. What? Dad, why are you here? I just said off-screen for a reason! Because fuck you, that's why! Get out of here! You're not supposed to have any direct impact on the story! Cool, great. I'm going to immediately fuck off and yell obscenities at whoever, whoever arted me into existence. Baka baka, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking love you, sweetheart. See? <laughs> If I even knew that not having parents was an option, I probably would have had the fucking problems I've... I'm going to be swearing like every sentence now. I just know it. Alright, look. I'm beyond done with all this now. Shut the fuck. Stop interrupting me and just do what I say without question or disobedience. <laughs> I thought... No, okay. Yeah, sure. Good. Close your eyes for a second. Okay. Oh, what happened to your clothes? Your magnificent mama... Without question! <laughs> Alright, sorry. <laughs> Shove my finger into that open can of drywall putty. Okay. Now what? Hold me up against the wall. Okay. Eat the putty off my finger. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Now that I'm done asserting my dominance, go like rinse that crap out of your mouth. Let me just do the rest of this. <laughs> Alright, done with this crap. You okay with leaving Yuri and I alone for a while? Yeah, sure. Should probably go find a way to move the plot along anyway. Sweet. Go do literally anything the fuck else that doesn't involve us for a bit. Okay. Bored now. Oh, huh. What else Aori's doing? I should check on her. Yeah, I should do that. Is it really hard to motivate myself to do literally anything productive without a girl directly in front of me? I'll go see her after I check up on my anime a bit. Again. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> after my battery dies, I head outside. Don't take off my mask, revealing dark.